Hello, I'm Sally Patton, Personal Finance Editor of Fairfax Media, and I'm here today with Olivia Maragna of Aspire Retire, and we're here to talk about what to do when you're changing jobs. Now, Olivia, if I'm changing jobs and hopefully I'm going to get a bigger salary, what can I do to prevent myself from spending up to my bigger salary? Well, this is, I think, the trap that most people do. They earn more and then they turn around and spend more. So one of the smartest things to do is to actually get your employer to help. Um, so your employer will generally allow you to deposit your pay into a couple of accounts. So every time that you've got a pay increase, if you've got some money going into your everyday account and money going into a savings account, make sure the remainder is going into that savings account, which means that when you get that pay increase, the, steps, the same amount will still continue to go into your everyday account, but the extra bit will actually go into your savings or investment account. So get your employer to actually help direct that pay increase into that, that savings or investment account. Um, the, the other thing to consider is obviously a budget. So if you know that you are earning more, increase what you do um, put towards investment. So if you've, got, if you've got a direct debit or something like that going into an investment, increase that. That'll help you not continue to increase your expenses and fall into that trap of you earn more and then you turn around and just spend more and you're in the same position. So with my superannuation fund, I've already got a super fund with my current employer. When I go to my new employer, will my super fund automatically be carried with me or what happens there? So it doesn't automatically do that. So that's where we have this choice of superannuation form. So you can actually carry your superannuation fund as you carry on and, and move on to different employers, as long as you do have that choice of super. So important to check with your new employer, do I have that choice of super? You do need to fill out that form. So really important, otherwise you end up with an additional superannuation fund. Um, but that's probably a really good idea to make sure that you know you keep the same superannuation fund and you don't end up with multiple superannuation funds throughout your work life. So I should then find out who my new employer default fund is and what should I be investigating what they're like and who they are? Well, absolutely or you it might even be an opportunity to actually look around and look at your own super fund and say is this the super fund that I want to continue having during my work life so a great opportunity to not just review your own super fund or your employer's new superannuation fund but also maybe look around if you do have that choice of super just keep in mind some little traps so things like insurance if you do move your superannuation from one fund to the other you might have insurance attached to that so just be mindful of it if you do roll over you may potentially lose it so on the sort of superannuation and having more than one account how do I know if I have more than one account? It sounds like a silly question, but I may have had a job when I was in my teens and I may have some lost super somewhere. And one of the traps is, is that people do have multiple superannuation funds because they move jobs or they move addresses and they're not actually keeping their super funds up to date. So the easiest thing to do is to do a lost super search. This is a free service offered by the Australian Taxation Office. You can log online, it only takes you a couple of minutes to do and you'll get a, a search result with maybe some old super funds that you've previously had. So a great opportunity, particularly when moving jobs, make sure you do that lost super search, get everything consolidated so that you've got that one super fund to carry going forward. Well, thank you very much for your time today uh, and thank you. We'll see you next time.